Today we are diving into a classic stack problem from lead code, which is to design a mean stack. This mean stack should perform typical stack operations, but also one method get mean that will retrieve the minimum element in constant time. And we need to achieve this with O of 1 time complexity for each function. Before we dive into the code, let's visualize our approach with an example to make it clear. Imagine we need to push these numbers one by one onto our stack. The pushing part is very simple, we will create one stack which will store all of our values. The trick here is to always keep track of the minimum value without compromising the O of 1 time complexity. For that we need to maintain a mean stack alongside our main stack. The second stack will always keep the minimum value on top. So each time we push a number onto our main stack, we check if this number is smaller or equal to the current top of our mean stack. If it is, we push it onto our main stack as well. In this example, we start by pushing 5 onto our main stack. Since our main stack is empty, we also push 5 onto it. Next, we push 3 onto our main stack. Now we compare 3 with the top of our main stack, which is 5. Since 3 is smaller, we push it onto our main stack as well. Then we push 7 onto our main stack. When compared to the top of our main stack, which is 3, we see that 7 is larger. So we only push 7 onto the main stack and we leave the main stack unchanged. Then we push another 3 onto our main stack. This time when we compare it with the top of our main stack, it's equal. So we also push it onto our main stack. And lastly we push 8 onto our main stack. It's larger than the top of our main stack, which is 3, so we only push it onto the main stack. And when we pop, if the top of both stacks are equal, we pop from both. For example, if we pop 8, we compare it with the top of our main stack, which is 3 and is not equal, so we only pop 8 from the main stack. But now if we need to pop the 3 of our main stack, we compare it with the top item of the main stack and see that it's equal, so we pop from both stacks. This way our main stack always has the smallest value right at the top. Now that we have visualized our strategy, let's write the code solution in JavaScript. Now traditionally the problem on lead code has prototype methods for the solution, but for clarity and modern syntax we'll be using class approach because it makes the structure and logic clear. Let's start by defining our mean stack class and initializing our two stacks. Next we need to write the push operation. Remember we are checking if our mean stack is empty or if our new value is less than or equal to the top of our mean stack. And then we push that item onto our main stack as well. Otherwise, we only push that value into our main stack. Now, for the pop operation, we pop from both stacks only if the top of both are equal. Otherwise, we only pop from the main stack. Getting the top element is straightforward. We just return the top item from our main stack. And lastly, we need to write the getMin function. And thanks to our mean stack, this is as simple as returning the top item from our mean stack. Let's see if this actually works. And we have a small error here because I forgot to pass the value to our push method. So if we pass the value and run this again. And now it passes the solution with 91 milliseconds runtime. Before we conclude, let's quickly summarize the time and space complexities of our mean stack solution. For each of our operations, push, pop, top and get mean, we achieve the constant O of 1 time complexity. As for the space complexity, it's O of n, where n is the number of elements we push onto the stack, because we are using an additional stack to keep track of our minimum values. And that wraps our solution to the mean stack problem from lead code. If you need a quick refresher on stacks, or if you're new to the concepts altogether, click here to check out my explanation video on stacks. See you next time.